Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's make sure this is all the way up. No, it's not. There it is. All right. So this reading is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a uh, spiritual reading. It's not going to be he said, he said, she said, they did, or anything like this. This is all about you, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on here. Past energy. Or I should say energies. <laughs> Please take what resonates and don't manifest the rest, okay? If it doesn't flow, let it go. Emotional withdrawal. Movement, choices, decisions in the present. Partnership and alliances as the challenge. Action needed. Your destiny. Prosperity begins. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Spiritual strength. Jeez. You've endured a lot, Scorpio, in the past. You've endured a lot. Present energy, movement, choices, and decisions. This is your challenge. Partnerships and alliances. So you may have something that you want to do and you're going to have to partner up with other people to do it because it's your destiny. And that's when your prosperity begins. If it hasn't already because I do feel like these mo this movement and choices has something to do with your stability. Let me pull you over here a little bit closer. Yeah. So. Like I said. I feel like this is. Uh, growth. Lots and lots of growth. Let's find out what activations are going on for you. Activation spirit. What activations is going on for my Scorpios? Opturian light codes, evolutionary downloads, re recalling your power and future thinking. Okay, some Aquarian energy there. We are going into the new moon in Aquarius this week, at the end of the week. Sword of Light. You are divinely protected. Cords are cut. And you're having a breakthrough. So, yay! Solar light upgrade, solar plexus chakra, inner fire, and willpower. So, your willpower is unmatched right now. It is. I mean, you, your, your strength is really unmatched because of what you've endured in the past. You got those evolution, uh, yeah, that, evolutionary downloads and you call back your power. Now inner earth with the base chakra, strength, security, laying foundations, and anchoring grounded action is Isis energy. So, damn. Sorry, guys. I can't help it. I got to cuss every once in a while. It wasn't the first 55 seconds, so I think I'm good. Um, so, this partnership and alliance is going to get you grounded. It's going to activate your Earth Star energy. It's kind of important because Gaia Gateway energy is learning experiences, wisdom, 
transmissions and earth intelligence. So you are definitely coming into your power. Understand that you are protected no matter what you do. You're having a breakthrough because the cords are cut from this emotional loss. And you're able to move into your destiny, which is where, where you should be. Because that's when you're Prosperity in all areas of your life will begin. Temple of Truth, Throat Chakra, Authenticity and Self-Expression. You tell them people. You tell them exactly how you feel. What time of day it is. Voice activation, angelic attunement, and divine support. I mean, it pretty much speaks for itself there. You have cut whatever cords in the past that were holding you back. And you're moving into your destiny strong. Strong. I am presence, light body activation, and accessing the divine within. Spirit strength, baby. Crown chakra upgrade, divine connection, holy experiences, and miraculous energy. Nice. I like it. Let's get some chakra cards and see what's going on here. Flipped over. Divine consciousness, interconnection, expansion, oneness, and light. Somebody is definitely stepping into their power, stepping into the light, and things are changing, both on the ground and within. You are divinely protected because you're the puppy. Kindness, benevolence, sharing, and receiving. The puppy. I like that. But because you chose love over everything, and that's that doesn't mean you chose for uh, anybody else. That means that you chose for yourself. Your willpower allowed you to go into the kindness and benevolent, and benevolent energy that was the key to your divine protection. To be kind, to share, to receive. Life is good. To know thyself. Now it's time to anchor that. That's what that's what your spiritual strength is telling you. Yeah. Do not hold back your truth. No matter what that might be. No matter if anybody else agrees with it or not, Scorpio. Because you are a divine being. And this is what it's saying. It says you need to step into that temple of truth no matter what anybody else says. In your pure and authentic way. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're a jerk, you know, you're going to get that back. You got it. You, you give, get what you give. All right. Ain't got what you got. It's what you give. It ain't the life you choose. It's the life you live. It's a Tesla. Yeah, I'm old school. But, uh, yeah. How you get to know people is through the sacral chakra. And maybe you got to know somebody that really triggered you into growth I've got music silence rhythm and vibration here sound this is what's healing you this is what is 
You may even want to do some throat chakra fre frequency meditation. Okay, that will help you stand and speak your truth. So you can go into this art, whatever it is that, that you're trying to do. You may be a musician trying to create soundtracks, you know, for um, meditation or something to help other people from what you've experienced. Express that. Because that's what's going to lead you to the next level. That was my stomach. Sorry. Coffee. No food yet. It's early. Okay. So, personal boundaries, choice, assertiveness, I can't talk this morning, assertiveness, empowerment, and authenticity. Again, it is asking you to express your full, undeniable, authentic self. It might make a couple people mad, but you know what? You can stand there in no apology at all because you're just being you and if you're if you're like I said you get what you give so if you're nasty to people and you're mean to people that's what you're gonna get back if you're nice to people and you love people and you show them kindness despite what they've done to you that's what you're gonna get back and I think you're understanding that and here's the connection, universal oneness, love, interconnection, and support. Like I said, you're, you're being divinely supported and guided throughout this, this, um, this whole entire reading with love, mind you. So the divine has definitely gotten your attention. And you understand what you're here for. You're getting that clarity. Now it's time to show that you understand. Now it's time to step into that power that you're supposed to bring to the world. Let's get some regular tarot. What is this emotional loss in the past? I can already tell you what it is, but... I think it was it was supposed to bring you into this divine consciousness. Maybe it triggered you. King of Swords, Cold Hard Truth. King of Cups. Come on. And the Five of Cups. Yeah. Three of Wands. It's something you waited for. I think you waited for the truth from a King of Cups. And when you got it, it just sent you into the Five of Cups. And it's like, yeah, that ain't good enough. And, and what I'm seeing here, Scorpio, is that you've, you're concentrating too much on spilt milk in the past. In the past. There are still two cups standing, and you are choosing to wait for the right one. So you are stepping into your power. You know that you are divinely protected through a benevolent source of some kind. And now it's time for you to get back what you put out there. Ooh, there's something you don't see coming. You growed something, but you just don't see it yet. Okay, okay. Judgment. Do you 
on Scorpio or Sag um, or Pisces. Something you didn't see grew into a fight for your attention. Okay, this is the movement and the choices that's happening into your life. And, you, and, I, and I feel like you're really conflicted about that. Because you do want love. You are getting a lot of attention. But it's conflicting with you because of what happened in the past. And I don't blame you. But know that it's it's safe. Whatever this is, it's safe. You cut the cords of a past life situation. You're moving. You're on the move. And not everybody's for you. Especially if it's like the wrong kind of attention. And what I mean by that is like, say for instance, you know, you're on fake book, right? And you get these messages saying, hey, babe. And they don't even know you like that. Um, I see that a lot of that going on. Like, and that's male or female. It doesn't matter. I feel like a lot of people are testing you, especially on social media. And you need to speak up for yourself. There are there are some kind of partnerships and alliances here, but I don't think it's in love. I think people are just playing a game right now with you know, they think that Scorpio's, you know, that's all they want. No, Scorpio has a lot to offer. And especially you know, any kind of Scorpio placements, they got a lot to offer. And they're going to do what's right for them. From now on, judgment has been made on all these other people that, tr that are trying to stop you from your destiny. You ain't allowing it. Somebody is watching you. Not washing, watching. I have something, I have a big piece of steel in my mouth, so don't think that I'm. It's a king of pentacles. Somebody who's really strong. I mean, it's like. I just want to have a good time. And, and I, I'm, I'm going to see it that way uh, because of the Three of Cups here. And that could also mean that they're in a third party. But I don't feel that. I feel like the King of Pentacles here is sitting back watching and they need to speak up. They need to have the strength to speak up and say, Hey! Let's go have some fun. Cheers, I'm hearing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that. Cheers. I'm thinking friends here. That show Friends. You ever, you ever seen that show where they... They all try to date each other, but they can't because they're too good of friends. <laughs> Every relationship they try to have with each other, except for Monica and what's his face. That's the kind of relationship they wanted. Most people want that fairy tale that, you know, really don't even exist. <laughs> I mean, they're just saying. Everybody's got their highs and lows and ups and downs and ins and outs, you know? Um, so the only relationship I will settle for at this point is one that meets me that meets me on my level 
And that includes friendship, trust, boundaries. Not no player. Let me keep this shit over there. I ain't got no time for, the, you know, that kind of behavior. What you're coming into is absolutely gorgeous. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. You're letting whatever this Five of Wands go so you can have a brand new beginning. It's over. And this brand new beginning is bringing you everything that you asked for. Love, money. And I think anybody that, that tried to um, stop you from this destiny got put to the side. Let's just say it real nice like that, okay? Um, they got put down. It's like, uh, nope, I'm concentrating on me and my money, and I'm dropping all those psychological wands that hurt me in the past so I can have a future. And I do feel like some kind of creation here a new connection because remember there's movement here there's partnerships this is your your challenge is to speak your truth and to, to stand in it so as you do that you move into your destiny and it's beautiful knight of cups somebody coming with an offer of love a beautiful offer of love a real offer of love. And I think it's this King of Pentacles. Could be a Leo. Could be a Pisces. But they want to give you a solid offer. And you want to take the time to get to know somebody. You're, you're standing in your personal boundaries right now. And those are more important to you than than anything anybody could offer you at this point. But here comes the sun. Lots of bright cards here. Wow. Moving up the ranks, man. And then you got this player energy around you. There's a choice here. Empowerment or letting somebody manipulate you. I have three knights here. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. So we have the player, the reckless, and somebody who takes forever. Again, we have Leo. You take too long, you're going to lose. You're going to lose your good thing. Just saying. If you want to engage with a Scorpio, you have to engage. It's not just about... I don't even know how to explain it. It's like... I just don't like all that muck muck. I mean, it's, like I said, you're getting a lot of attention right now. Some of it good. Some of it not so good. Lots of manipulation. What is this Five of Cups about, Spirit? What is this Five of Cups about? Page of Wands. Yeah, I think you uh, listened to your intuition on this one. And now they're really butthurt because you didn't accept their truth. It wasn't good enough. Queen of Pentacles. Mother. Boss. Somebody who's very stable. So, 
This person approached the Queen of Pentacles and got the Queen of Swords. Uh oh. Ruh -roh. Somebody came with an offer, a passionate offer. Page Page of Wands to a Queen of Pentacles and they got the Queen of Swords. The cold hard truth. Possibly getting cut. You know, by the cold hard truth because this it feels like this Queen of Swords did not hold back her truth. I mean, whether male or female, they they said what they said and they meant what they said. Could be to this Queen of Pentacles. I don't know. Uh, what I do know is that you start energy, baby. Arcturian. Ta da! And you take no shit. Look at, look at how armored up that Queen of Wands is. Or Queen of, well, Queen of Wands. Queen of Swords. It's just sitting there going, wishing a bitch would, you know? I dare you to challenge me. <laughs> Scorpio, calm down. Told y'all you gotta watch your temper. At least for the next week. Gotta watch that temper. Like I said, I feel like you are inner inner co conflicted about this this lover this possible person coming in that is just one of many could be a gemini could be a pisces but this is one of many people trying to get in your energy i love you i want to be with you i am your density your destiny could be Sagittarius or Gemini, but I feel like you're moving into your own, your own, and and I think you I think you love these people no matter what they've done, but you're to the point where it's time. It's time to move in a forward direction and just be who you are. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. This person is hanging on to every word you said. Whatever it is, Scorpio. They're hanging on to every word you said. Ten of Swords. I got the Four of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Ten of Swords. Eh. And the Queen of Wands. Somebody was very, very passionate here. But the cold hard truth is that it was over before it began. Because this person didn't step up. They just decided to watch from afar. Afar, 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 afar. And you got healed in the process. So I'm feeling I'm feeling like you 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 aren't even playing with the, any anybody from the past. None. And that, that includes everybody. Family, friends. But you're choosing to be love. Which is which is your, you know, kind of your destiny here. And, and standing in your truth is the only way to get there. Your challenge is, yeah, are you good looking? Well, yeah, probably. Your challenge is to let it, let the truth be done. Don't know what that means, but that's what I'm getting. Let the truth be done. Be told, be done. So you can move into your destiny. Or your density, whichever that is. <laughs> I'm feeling a fire breathing dragon here, really. I am. I mean, yeah, this is intense. 
Queen of Cups. Three of Swords. Now this might have hurt you as much as it hurt another person. Because I feel like you knew this person was a liar. You knew this person was possibly even like they were cheating on somebody or you, you knew, you knew. Because all they cared about was the money, which puts them in devil energy. And the shtig, the, the ace of wands. You're choosing new love. Can you hear my stomach growling? That is just too much. Coffee. Alright, so. Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. You put this away. You put this down. You put this to rest. Seven of Swords. Lying, cheating, stealing. You took a new path. Got a new beginning. And you knew that was a toxic situation. You set boundaries. Is what I'm feeling here. You, you might have, you know, had a fling with this person. But then you turned around and you said, um, it ain't happening. I can, my intuition tells me that, that I know what I know. And I said what I said. This person, you, I don't know why I'm getting a fire breathing dragon there, but that's what I'm getting with that, uh, destiny. Whoa. It's cold You're gonna find out. Two of Cups. Now, now all these people are rushing back into your life trying to, trying to love you. I want to love you. I mean, it, it, and like I said, I'm getting, I'm getting a feeling like people on Facebook, like if you're on social media of any kind, they're coming to you going, hey baby, and you're like, bitch. First of all, that's not the way to approach me, hey baby, you remind me of Beavis and Bud. <laughs> hey baby, <laughs> don't hey baby me. I'm a grandma. <laughs> Get a clue. There's the lovers. Like I said, you got so many people coming towards you right now, Scorpio. At least three. They want one's reckless, one's player. The other one takes forever. You know, nobody got time for any of that. Plus, you know, I mean, if you meet them on social media, how do you know they're really them? Even on those dating apps. How do you know they're really them? Six of Pentacles. Something is definitely going to be evened out here and fair. Somebody that might actually be your match. With the lovers here twice, there is somebody who is a vibrational match to you. Look at this card. It's almost like the, the judgment card. Look at, it's like all these people see you flying through the air, right? And they want to catch the, the dragon. They want to jump on its back. Good luck. You might you might catch the tail. And then you go. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I'm getting, guys. You looking good. You glowed up. You 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 got lots and lots of suitors, but I feel like you don't you're not taking any of them seriously. Not at all. I got my eye on you. There's that page of pentacles or, or knight of pentacles again. There's judgment. You have been judged. Um like I said, I feel like you're just getting your stuff together and, and trying to boss up here. And the devil's got hold of somebody here. 
It might even be the destiny that, that's coming in your direction. Lying, cheating, manipulating. If you do this, I'll do that kind of energy. And you're into, these boundaries are in check. You see this from a mile away. Because you are presence. You are present. 3522 when I said that. I am presence. I can see you. I see you. So, like I said, you may have a lot of people vying for your attention. Don't be reckless. Make a good choice here. Because the Seven of Cups is up ahead. I can't tell you what to choose. That's got to be your choice. I'm not going to sit here and tell you how you feel or what to choose because that's not my job. My job is to give you the messages from spirit that tells you what is next. The next thing coming is the Seven of Cups, which is could be illusions, but it's also cho choices and options. There's movement here. I see a complete movement, a complete shift here. Somebody is in this lioness energy and they're probably getting back whatever they gave you. I don't know what that means. Um, so now they're going to reach again. I ain't got the Ten of Cups here, but I'm definitely feeling family. Can I have another chance? <laughs> And you're like over here going, la, almost like a Pisces. It's like you're buried in whatever this project is. This project is going to bring you money. It's going to bring you passion. It's going to bring you stability. Saturnian energy, which is not always bad. At least it's grounded. It's Capricorn energy. You know, I, I have my son's a Capricorn. I've never met, you know... I've never really met a Capricorn that wasn't grounded. So that, that means that, that this is also going to give you a brand new start. I feel like the lies doesn't, don't even matter to you anymore. You, you've graduated from that. You've graduated from the player energy and you ain't nobody got time for that no more. And maybe that's what you're doing is building your pentacles. Get a little more information here. Let's see if we can find anything out in the kippers. Unexpected income. I knew it. Be careful that people don't try to lie to you about that, Scorpio. I have I have a feeling that somebody's going to make an empty offer. That's what that Seven of Swords is about. They're going to offer you money for something. Ugh. I'm feeling like they they want your new start. So they're going to try to hustle you out of it. Like I said, seven of cups here. Don't let anybody bullshit you. Get shit in writing. And if, when you get it in writing, make sure that uh, it, it says what you want it to say. And that goes for relationships or anything. Yeah, courthouse. Don't let anybody try to just get you in, okay? Because they're making they're making they're making fake promises about a relationship. Like I said, I'm feeling that hey baby energy. They're going through some legal issues. It's like they got to give back anything that they took from you. And they're pretending to give it back. They're, they're not intentionally giving it back. They're giving it back because they don't have any other choice. I'm surprised the bad health didn't come out. They, legally, they have no other choice but to do what's right by you. Whoever these people are. Let's get some ISIS cards for advice.
The Brother in Darkness. An Ancient Power Mysteries. Damn. We're going to have to read these. This says, Whenever negative energy is present, it is a sign that we are ready to move more deeply into our feminine divine power. And that goes for masculine men too. You shall overcome any negative energy with grace and triumph. Stay in your heart. There is no need to be afraid. No need to be afraid of this new start. Just watch. Keep your boundaries up. Don't just let somebody play you. I mean... People think that they can play play a Scorpio. Well, that, that's when you get st stung. It just it happens that way. Ancient power mysteries. The oracle guides you to honor the power of your voice. Throat chakra. Whether through spoken or song or spoken or song words or thought, what you write, speak about or stand for symbolically. You have a potentially very powerful healing voice and you are guided to recognize the responsibility that you have for what you proclaim through your voice. So always speak your truth. Always be true to yourself. I've been telling you guys for like a year uh, to stay to always stand in your truth to not put on any false masks because that's what happens especially if they're trying to get a relationship with you these people <coughs> feels like they got a lot of problems and you're being illuminated to that could be a mother, the matriarch, and the illuminaire. 4222 when I said that. And Merlin. Merlin the magician. Merlin the ma magic dragon. Um, so we're going to read, I guess, both of these because they both popped out. So the Avebury. Which one is that? That is a earthwalk dragon. So they come they combined an earthwalk dragon and a grandmaster dragon together. Like I said, there's something that you're doing here. It's magic and it's gonna bring to the world just by your spoken or singing or, or something like that kind of kind of situation. I don't know what that is. You guys would have to figure out what that is. Seventy nine. Okay. So this is says I will guide you to discover the best way you can heal. This dragon comes in with the strength and power to, to delve deep into your ancestral past and bring healing. She usually follows the, the matriarchal line back through the passage of time. So the mother's side. She states that the time has come to release the chains that bind and contain and continue that bind the continued pain from your ancestors, which has been passed down from generation to generation. You do not need to own this, as it is not and never was your pain to bear. She reassures you that it is safe to explore old family hurts and release them to her. If she shows up today in your reading, ask for her wisdom to guide you in the best way to heal the past and move forward in your life. She says, I will guide you to discover the best way you can heal and leave the parts of you, your ancestral past behind. Old family wounds only fester on a deep level if you, if you not, not, if not acknowledged, yeah, speak and release. 
They serve you with no purpose in your journey now. If the ab bearing monarch has flown into your awareness today, she wants you to visit an old natural an old natural temple, stone circle, or any ancient sacred site and connect to the energy of the land there. She asks you to ground yourself, be still, and ask for her guidance. Due to her connection with the Avebury Henge, Avebury, whatever that is, she comes as an immediate ancient energy that of the old ways, the shamanic healing of the ancestors of England. Her wisdom is as ancient as this land itself. Wow. Wow. And the Illuminaire is the Grand Master. So, 111. Wow. I like this reading. This says, only truth has integrity and can stand the test of time. Didn't I say that? If you have picked a luminaire today, hear this message. I illuminate what can't be seen. That which is hidden within you, your truth needs to be seen and shared. You cannot hide behind your masks forever. Your shields of false protection do not serve you. What's the rest of it? Okay, this is a pretty intense message. Only truth has integrity and can stand the test of time. Illuminaire is the first dragon I met who also holds angelic as well as dragon energy. In the case from the archangel Uriel. Illuminaire appears when you are not listening. When we are not listening. And have been resisting what needs uncovering and changing within our lives. This is usually of a spiritual or personal nature. Rest assured, you are now ready to deal with whatever has been lurking in the depths of your being. Whether this is a spiritual awakening or a deep personal healing, it's ready to be activated. The rest of this message is this. Spiritual warriors of Earth, collectively we can change the world. Although humankind is not yet ready for us in all our might, you and others like you are preparing the way. Anchoring the light into the planet. Are you ready to continue your amazing journey of empowerment? Illuminaire invites you to see the truth in all situations. He says, Do not fear the illumination. Truth is a liberating and powerful ally. Your fears lie with change. But open your heart and welcome it into your core. Allowing the light to guide you forward. Wow. That was an intense reading, guys. I hope you liked it. And I hope it helps someone. So please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. And I will see you tomorrow. Alright? Till then, take care. Love you.